Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna rank every engineering degree from least difficult all the way to the most difficult. And along with that, I'm gonna show the average pay and future demand for each degree. So if you're still trying to figure out what degree you wanna study, this is the video you wanna watch. Let's go. So I know this topic is a bit controversial, right? Every engineer likes to think that their discipline is the hardest one out there. But I think that this is probably going to be the most objective ranking that you're going to find anywhere. And that's because I've based my ranking on actual data, right? Average GPA, average length of time it takes to graduate, highest level of math required, and the average amount of credits required for each degree. And just so you know, some of this data was not easily accessible, right? You can't just Google this stuff. So it took me quite a while to kind of dig and piece together this ranking, which is why I say this is gonna be the most objective and accurate list you're gonna find anywhere. So with that, let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start at the least difficult and then work our way all the way to the most difficult engineering degree. Okay, so let's kick things off with spot number 16, manufacturing engineering. So with manufacturing engineering, it looks like there's gonna be 14% job growth, the average salary is 85,000 a year. The normal amount of credit hours it takes is 123, and the highest math required is calculus two. So as you can see, manufacturing engineering has a good demand. So if you're interested in process development, tool design, and failure analysis, this degree might be one you wanna look into. So I've ranked it at number 16 because you don't have to go as high in math, the credit hours are a little bit lower, and the subject material is just a lot less complex than a lot of the other engineering degrees. So moving on to number 15, we have industrial engineering. So for industrial engineering, it looks like there's gonna be 12% job growth. The average salary is 85,000. The average number of credit hours is 122. And the highest level of math that you have to take is ordinary differential equations. So industrial engineering is another really good choice if you wanna get an engineering degree while avoiding some of the most difficult material, right? So if you're really into pulling value out of big data sets and building software tools, this one might be for you. And so I've ranked it at number 15 because on average, industrial engineering students are able to graduate within four years, which is pretty quick for an engineering degree. Moving on to number 14 on our list, we have civil engineering. So for civil engineering, demand is projected to go up by 7%. The average salary is 89,000. The normal amount of credit hours it takes to graduate is 127. And the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. Civil engineering is another great choice. It will always have solid demand, right? So if you're interested in bridges, infrastructure, buildings, roads, tunnels, this one's for you. And so I've ranked it at the 14th most difficult because according to the data, 55% of civil engineering students are able to graduate within four years, which is a lot higher than most other degrees. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you are, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's a small and simple thing, but it really goes a long way toward helping others find my channel. Also, if you're thinking about studying in engineering or any other STEM discipline, be sure to check out my book. It is the comprehensive guide for anybody to get any degree they want. And if you talk to any engineering graduate, they'll tell you that there's a lot more to it than just studying, right? It's time management, mindset, discipline, stress management, and of course, studying performance and exam performance. It's all in here. It's getting a ton of great reviews and helping out thousands of students all over the world. So if you're a new student or you're a current student, and you're just struggling a little bit, I guarantee this book will help you. It's available in paperback, ebook and audiobook. I'll put links in the description for everything. Thanks for the support and back to the video. Okay, so next up at number 13, we have environmental engineering. So for environmental engineering, demand is projected to go up by 7%. The average salary is 90,000. The total number of credit hours you have to take is 123. And the highest level of math is calculus three. So if you're interested in the environment, working with the environment, you know, developing systems that protect the environment, this one's for you. So I've ranked it at number 13 because you only have to go to calculus three and about half of all students are able to graduate within four years. Okay, so we're gonna move up a tier with this next one. Number 12, software engineering. So for software engineering, demand is expected to go up by 25%. The uh, average salary is 123,000 a year. The credit hours is 122 and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. I shouldn't have to sell you on the opportunity of software engineering, right? Even with the advent of artificial intelligence, uh, software engineering is still projected to be super strong in the coming years. So if you're into coding and creating useful and entertaining software, this one's for you. I have it ranked at number 12 because the average number of credit hours is less than a lot of the other degrees. So that means that a lot of students are able to graduate within four years. Next up, coming in at number 11, we have computer engineering. So for computer engineering, job growth looks like it's gonna go up by 5%. 
The average salary is 131,000 a year. The number of credit hours you have to take is 112, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So it looks like computer engineering has the biggest return on investment, right? It has the highest salary on this list, and it's still one of the less difficult degrees. So if you're interested in electronic design, right, hardware and software development, then this one's for you. So I've ranked it at number 11 because 45% of computer engineering students are able to graduate within four years, and the average GPA is 3.37, which is pretty high for engineering. Next up, coming in at number 10, we have petroleum engineering. So for petroleum engineering, the demand is expected to go up by 8%. The average salary is 115,000 a year. The credit hours required is 125, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So petroleum engineering is a really specific degree, right? So if you're interested in the extraction and refinement of oil, or maybe you live somewhere where this is a big industry, this might be one worth looking into. And so this is another one where you can earn quite a bit of money while avoiding some of the most difficult engineering courses, which is why I've ranked it at number 10. So for this next one, we're gonna move up a tier and we're gonna start off with number nine, biomedical engineering. So for biomedical engineering, it looks like there's gonna be 10% growth. The average salary is 90,000. The credit hours required is 124, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So biomedical is another one with super strong job growth and pretty reasonable pay. So if you know if biology, developing medical equipment, and doing research is what you're interested in, this one's right up your alley. So I've ranked it at the ninth most difficult because 42% of students are able to graduate within four years, and the average GPA is 3.3. Next up, we have electrical engineering coming in at the eighth most difficult engineering degree. So for electrical, demand is supposed to go up by 7%. The average salary is 112,000. The credits required is 122, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So electrical engineering is another degree with super good demand and solid, solid pay. So if you're interested in electrical circuits, radio frequency, and power transmission, then this is for you. So I've ranked it at the eighth most difficult because 40% of students graduate within four years and the average GPA is 3.25. Coming in at number seven, we have a mechanical engineering. So for mechanical engineering, future demand is expected to grow by 10%. The average salary is 102,000 and the normal amount of credit hours you have to take is 125 and the highest level of math is partial differential equations, which is the highest level of math for any engineering degree. So mechanical engineering is by far the most studied engineering discipline, but you shouldn't let that deter you because demand is still really high and the pay is pretty strong. So mechanical engineering is a really good choice if you wanna have really solid education in several different disciplines, right? They're kind of a jack of all trades. They learn a lot about software engineering, robotics, you know, energy transfer, and structural design. And so because of that, you know, mechanical engineers tend to uh, be qualified for a lot larger array of jobs than most other engineering degrees. And so I've ranked mechanical at the seventh most difficult because the average GPA is 3.2, the high level of math required, and only 40% of students graduate within four years. All right, so we're gonna move up a tier and start off with rank number six, mining engineering. So for mining engineering, the demand is expected to grow by 0%. The average salary is 85,000. The number of credits you have to take is 121, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So mining engineering can be a good choice, you know, if you're willing to travel and live in some remote areas, but you know, the growth and pay are pretty, you know, weak compared to some of the other engineering degrees. But I have to say that mining is a pretty unique education, right? So if geology is your thing and you really, you know, get off on creating systems to, you know, better extract useful materials from the earth, then this is your degree. And so I have it ranked at number six because only 19% of students are able to graduate within four years. Next up, at the fifth most difficult engineering degree, we have metallurgical engineering. So for metallurgical engineering, the demand is expected to grow by 6%. The average salary is 83,000. The credit hours you have to take is 126 and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So metallurgical engineering has pretty solid demand, but the pay is still kind of lacking, right? So, you know, when we get to this level in the list, you're getting into the more difficult degrees and you kind of want to weigh everything appropriately. But, you know, if metals are your thing, if the extraction, refinement, you know, testing and, you know, development of new metallic uh, materials is your thing, then this is your degree. So pretty similar to mining engineering with this one, you're gonna get into some pretty high level thermodynamics and chemistry with metallurgical engineering. So I think that's why only 18% of students graduate within four years, which is why I have it ranked at the fifth most difficult engineering degree. Okay, so last up in this A tier, we have number four, 
materials engineering. So for materials engineering, demand is projected to go up by 5%. The average salary is 104,000. The number of credits you have to take is 125, and the highest level of math is partial differential equations. So it looks like, you know, for materials engineering, the demand is, is okay. Uh, the pay is pretty strong, but you know, this is one of the more difficult degrees. So as a materials engineering student, you're gonna really dive deep into how materials behave from an electrical, you know, structural and kinematic standpoint. So if that's your thing, then you might wanna look into this one. So I've ranked it at number four, due to the really high level math and physics courses required, and only 30% of students are able to graduate within four years. Okay, so let's move up to the highest tier and kick things off with the third most difficult engineering degree, chemical engineering. So for chemical engineering, the job demand looks to be uh, pretty strong, growing at 14%. The average salary is 91,000. The number of credits you have to take is 125, and the highest level of math is ordinary differential equations. So it looks like uh, chemical engineering has pretty solid demand and pretty decent pay. So if chemistry, you know, chemical processes and energy transfer are what interest you, then this might be the degree for you. So I've ranked chemical engineering at spot number three for a couple reasons. First of all, Chemistry is a very non-exact science, right? It's pretty ambiguous uh, when you compare it to physics and mathematics, right? So it's inherently a little bit more difficult to grasp. And obviously in chemical engineering, you're gonna be learning a ton of chemistry. And so the other reason I haven't ranked at number three is the data shows that only 30% of students graduate within four years and the average amount of time it does take to graduate is 4.7 years. Okay, so we've made it to the second most difficult engineering degree and that is aerospace engineering. So for aerospace engineering, demand is expected to grow by 7%. The average salary is 112,000. The normal number of credit hours you have to take is 127. And the highest level of math is partial differential equations. So aerospace engineering looks to have pretty decent job growth and solid pay. So, you know, if you're into airplanes, satellites, rockets, right? Anything that's in the air or in space, aerospace is your jam. So I've ranked it at number two due to the high math and credit requirements, and also because it takes students on average 4.8 years to graduate. And at number one, the most difficult engineering degree, we have nuclear engineering. So for nuclear engineering, demand is expected to grow by 0%. The average salary is 97,000. The amount of credits you have to take is 129. And the highest level of math is partial differential equations. So it looks like the job growth is pretty stagnant for this one, but the pay seems to be pretty strong. So, you know, even though it's really difficult, um, if you're interested in power production and nuclear research, then this might be one worth looking into. You know, if I were to choose a degree or, you know, a discipline that I just wanted to know more about, it would be nuclear engineering because it just seems super interesting to me. I've ranked nuclear at number one, the most difficult engineering degree, because it requires the highest level of understanding in math, chemistry, thermodynamics, and mechanical system design. And it also, the average amount of time it takes to graduate is 4.8 years, which was the longest of the degrees I was able to find data for. There you have it. You know, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and you know, if you would, if you would change a few around here and there, um, if you were to rank uh, engineering degrees by difficulty. But, you know, I tried to be as objective as possible and really base my ranking on objective data. And I really, you know, put more weight on how long it took students to graduate because I felt like that was probably the most accurate measure of difficulty. But I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts if you agree or disagree with me in the comments below. And so I wanna make one point really clear. All engineering degrees are difficult, right? So if you're studying any of these degrees, it's a huge undertaking. And even though I've ranked them by difficulty, it by no means am I saying that, you know, the ones on the lower end of the list are, are easy, right? They're just less difficult than the other ones. So no matter what engineering degree you're studying, it's very impressive. It's a huge undertaking, a big challenge, and you should be super proud once you graduate. But that's it for now. So be sure to check back for more engineering tips, advice, experience, and education. So until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.